Gentlemen, you're watching another episode of Trent and Heath where we talk about all things shoes. One of the last videos that we did, we actually talked about three easy things you can do to your shoes to prolong your shoes without them wearing out the soles, the heels. And if you didn't catch that video, we're gonna put a link above. Just click on that and it'll tell you all about it. But one of those things that we did talk about were sole protectors. And today we're actually gonna be putting a sole protector on a fresh out of the box pair of Allen Edmonds. And you'll get to see exactly what we're talking about. So let's go. So here's the shoes that we're gonna be putting the sole protectors on. Like I said, these things are fresh out of the box and that's a good time to put sole protectors on. It's either when you've got a fresh sole that you've had resold or the original sole straight out of the box. If you start putting these things on after they've been worn a while, you're gonna kinda of lose that sharp edge that you're really gonna get a good seal and it's just gonna look better with the sole protector when it's put on a fresh sole and after it's been sanded. So um, the, the good reason for doing those sole protectors is you're gonna wear hair and you can just replace that versus actually having to wear down the sole and take the sole off and have to re redo it. You're just replacing those sole protectors just like you're just replacing your heel lifts when you need to. So here we go. Now, there are many different types of sole protectors. You can get them in different colors. Usually they're they come in more of a blackish color or what they call oak. Um, they come, you can get Vibram, you can get Toppy, you can get Goodyear. There's just, there's so many different styles and, and um, different uh, grid patterns on them. And these are some Goodyears that this gentleman wants to put on here. And for the sake of time, I went ahead and put some glue on these because anytime you're putting glue onto a rubber, really non-porous material, um, it takes a little longer to dry. So actually, I put the glue on these last night and then I can go ahead and put a second coat after I reheat them. You can get these in sheets too. These are pre-cut, you can get them in sheets so you can cut them however you want. And I've seen some people uh, put all the way back to the heel breast. It's not really a, a need to do that. Um, you, you're not, this part right here is not gonna be striking the ground so there's no real reason to do it. Um, so we actually like to just put it right, once again, at the bend, just like if you, when you saw our Christian Louboutin, uh, video or if you haven't check it out too right at the bend right here is where we like to put this and it just goes straight across some people still like to see their logo here Alan Edmonds and we just put it straight across here and draw a line like so. Now, this is gonna be a fairly short video because this is such an easy process to do. Um, we're gonna have to rough this up. That's kind of the downside to uh, the people don't like to think about when they get a brand new pair of shoes is yes, we have to score this, rough it up, sand it, use our rougher, uh, but it's gotta be done because if it's too smooth, it's not as porous and the glue won't adhere to it. So we gotta give some fiber for that glue to really adhere to. So let's do that. Again, this has stain and wax. When they finish the shoe, they stain the bottom, they wax it, and you've got to remove that wax and get down to the actual leather. I did not really push on this very hard. I just barely touched it and let the sandpaper just take off that top, that very top coat of the leather. And um, I didn't, the, I didn't, you know, risk the, the stitches down here. They're still deeply entrenched. But another thing that that does is it gives, it, if there's a little lip along the edge, it also makes that very much like a 90 degree angle. So the sharper the edge, the better it's gonna look when we actually have to trim the excess of that off. I then go over it very lightly with this little rougher, just to 
kind of fluff the, the leather, the fibers of the leather up to get some more grip for the for the for the cement. Now some people some people will actually remove the stitches or um, when they if they're putting a brand new sole on they'll glue the uh, the, the, put the new sole on, then they'll put the, the um, sole protector on, and then they'll stitch it. So there's actually, it's meant the sole protector is held on by glue and by stitches. If a customer wants that, yeah, sure, you can do it. My only downside to that is every time you do it, you're having to, uh, you're, you're still having to possibly punch new holes into that well. Um, and you still have to remove the stitches because you're going to wear through those stitches because they're sitting on top of rubber. You're not really trenching deep into rubber or you're going to go all the way through it. Because the whole point of a sole protector is it's really thin. It's a thin thing of rubber. You don't want to see, have a leather sole shoe and then have this big thick thing of rubber. It's very thin. It's a sole protector. It's not a whole nother sole. And um, it's easier just to get that thing to bond with glue very easily and keep the original stitches. And then all you have to do is remove that when it wears through and you're still in the same position. Got the original stitches holding, and then you can glue another one up. Um, just complete preference. Thin coat of glue. You don't want to put a big glob in there. Thin coat, because that's going to soak into that leather fairly quick. those sit and soak in and then I'll put my second coat on I'll be back okay guys so we have put multiple coats of glues on uh, glue on here let it sit uh, what I normally do is I'll put the first coat on and then I will go reheat that glue and then put one more thin uh, coat of glue on top of that let it sit and then um, do the same thing to this get them on give them a good pound we're gonna put these on the press now so you see they're oversized so they can fit a wide a range of, of shoes, styles, and sizes. And um, let's put these on the press now. Okay, so we put these on the press, and you can see how it kind of angle it here. You can see how it kind of makes a nice little line there. And that's possible because these are new soles. When you wear your soles, they're wearing on the ground, the toes, the edges, you're rolling your foot, and it starts to wear that leather and kind of round it off on the edge. When you got a nice sharp edge, a nice 90 degree angle, that's where you get that great seal on there. So that's a good uh, um, a, a good reason to have these put on either at the time that you purchase the shoe or um, when you're having them resold. And it's once again, it's a fresh sole. So what we're gonna do now is just trim this off, then we'll sand it, we'll ink it, and he's done. So I have sanded around the edges here and we can match. We don't have to sand all the way around because we can, we can color match this and blend this straight back in. Plus there's no reason to sand off leather if you don't have to because every time you sand a tiny, even though we're using a very uh, fine sandpaper just to take that edge off, um, every time you sand you're getting closer to the stitches on the welt and well you don't want to do that. You want that welt to last as long as possible. So we sand just here, color match it. Now I'm gonna go put it on an even a finer sandpaper, and make that thing like glass, and then we'll ink it, and uh, I'll show you the after. All right guys, so we're all done. We put the sole protectors, just covering the ball of the foot, and um, got them all inked on the sides, blended all the way in, 
And remember, these are low profile protectors. You don't want these things to be real thick. So it blends in very, very nicely with the leather sole. And uh, these are a great way to keep your shoes from wearing out. And when these wear out, these are a lot less labor to replace than putting out a whole new sole. So um, once again, put these on when you first get your shoes or go get them resold and then have one put on and that will limit your resoles as well. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good. Hey, if you like this video, um, then hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn that bell on for you know reminders for our future videos. And uh, tell your friends, if you've liked this and you've got comments, put them down in the comment section. We're always going and replying to these. We want your feedback and uh, tell your friends. Thanks and have a good one.